So my skin is already moisturized and primed and I am going to go ahead and just read the claims of this foundation right here. It is the Revlon Insta Filter. Revlon's website is, uh, the description says, our newest flawless finish foundation with a built-in blender so you have a perfected makeup look anytime, anywhere. Our innovative formula works with your skin type and evens and smooths your skin tone to leave you with a fresh-faced natural finish. Full range of high-definition shades, which it's not that full of a range. There is, there's 12 shades. And a medium buildable coverage, all day wear, high-definition filter technology captures and transforms any light to blur and soften flaws. Um, like I said, I am already moisturized and primed on my face. I went in with my Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer, and then everywhere else I went in with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, just, it makes my skin really soft, and I love it. I know those primers, and I know how they perform on my skin under other foundations. Um, so I am going to go ahead and pop this up on my face. Um, I, I'll try this sponge applicator that's on here. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I do have my Eco Tools sponge. It is damp and ready to go. And uh, I'll do that on one side of my face and then on the other side of my face, I will go in, go in with a flat top kabuki brush. Twist the bottom. So there it is right here. Dotted on my face. See what I can do with this. Oh. It's really, I, don't know, I guess because it's a dry sponge, it's just dragging like I can like hear it and feel it against my skin okay yeah I don't like how that looks what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put out some product on the back of my Bath and Body Works candle lid I'll go in with my sponge first um, this is the preferred way that I've been doing my foundation recently Oh, that's a lot better already. I feel like it doesn't um, emphasize any of my texture whenever I go in with a sponge. And I'm already getting better coverage. So this is with one layer of the foundation. I mean, the color isn't too bad. It is a little bit more pinky, pinky neutral than what I need in the foundation, but that's okay. I can make it work. Um, but this is with one layer. So compared to this side and that side, it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to let I'm going to let this side rest for a little bit, let it dry down, and see if we can build on top of that. Um, so for now, I'm going to go in with a flat top kabuki brush. So, I don't like it with a brush, um, and it's definitely not like a natural finish like it claims to be. Um, it is more of like a matte, it is almost completely dried down to a matte finish. Um, I definitely would not recommend this for anyone that does have dry skin, um, just cause like, it dried down. 
mean, it's... I, I don't even know if I'm going to power this. So my skin type is kind of combination oily. Um, I do get just a little bit oily, you know, just right here in my T-zone. Um, I'm pretty normal on my forehead. Um, I only get like a little bit oily right here in the center of my eyebrows. Maybe once this kind of warms up to my skin and my natural oils start coming through, maybe it'll be okay. And it is already starting to settle into some of like my little fine lines around my, my mouth. So I am going to go ahead and apply my concealer um, on camera. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. And I'm just going to conceal how I normally would. And let's just see how this concealer blends out on top of the foundation because sometimes they don't always play nicely together. Luckily this concealer, it is pretty moisturizing so hopefully it'll help fix my nose issue. Because my nose, it looks dry. Okay, so I will say that my nose definitely looks a lot better now that I put my concealer on. It, just because this concealer, it is a little bit more moisturizing. Here at the time is 9.27, so we'll call it 9.30 for check-ins. My under eyes, they look okay. Everything blended out fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. I'm back. It is now 10.26, and I took a while on my makeup. Um, I got very distracted, and... I was watching Best of Beauty videos for 2017. It is still very dry looking. Um, any type of glow that you see here is my highlighter. So for my brows today, I went in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Shape and Fill. Um, this is the one. It has like a teardrop like applicator. Um, I usually use my L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer, and this one just has the ultra fine tip, and I, I absolutely love that one. Um, the other one, I'm, I just need to practice with a little bit more because the teardrop shape is so weird. <laughs> it's, it's, it was a little hard for me to get like a crisp line on my eyebrows, um, so I did have to go in with the definer and do that and then clean up with concealer and it was not what I wanted to do this morning. For my eyes, I just went in with my bronzer that I used, which is my very trusty Benefit Hula bronzer. Um, I will say the powders and you know any anything that I put on my face, it went on okay. Um, I did powder down my cheeks just a little, little bit with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in 05 Fair. Um, I did do that a little bit just because my cheeks right here, they were just a little bit tacky. I did not powder my forehead. I went in with my Hoola. It went on okay. It was a little bit patchy and it took a little bit more for me to blend it out. So then I went in with this NARS Blush Duo. It is Dual Intensity Blush in Adoration. And it looks like this right here. This highlight shade is beautiful. I love it. Um, this is something new that I had gotten. Um, it does have like a kind of like a pinky kind of glow to it. Uh, but they feel very nice. The blush is intense so you don't need too too much of it. Just go in with a very light hand or else you will go a little bit overboard. So this is the blush and the highlight duo. The highlight is just a really beautiful pinky highlight and I love it a lot. So I did use that high, that pinky highlight today and I did go over it with my Mary Luminizer. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I used Dior Show Mascara to prep for falsy. So the lashes that I went in with first was the Lash Couture from Kiss in the style boudoir. I don't like them. Um, I mean, they're beautiful lashes, absolutely beautiful lashes. And I love, I have a new one right here. 
I love the Midnight Lashes from this line. These are absolutely beautiful. These, the lash band is, I don't know, it seems a lot thicker and like chunky or something than the Midnight ones. Um, I mean, they're just, they're beautiful lashes and I want to love them, but it, I feel like the lash band is too small and I usually have to cut down my eyelashes a little bit to make them fit. Um, like with these midnight ones, for example, I do cut down the outer corner of them so they fit to my eyelash line better. But with these, they're too small and I didn't cut them down at all. Um, they felt very heavy. I couldn't get them to look right. They just, they're really stiff. So I'm going to have to see if I can work with them a little bit more because I don't want to just like get rid of them or return them or anything because they're beautiful lashes. Um, but I didn't feel like fussing with it today. So I took those off. Oh, and I went in with another pair of Kiss lashes. Um, these are in the style 11. Um, they're the Kiss Ever Easy lashes. I love these. They're a really pretty natural lash. I set my makeup with um, my L'Oreal Infallible setting spray and for my lips today I contemplated doing a separate like kind of wear test video on this one but I think I'm just going to include it into this video. Um, I think it's new. It is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is, I mean it's a really beautiful color. Um, it's more of like a whipped kind of texture right here. I will be wearing this all day as well to see how it goes. You know, is it going to last through eating or, you know, drinking, anything like that. And it is pretty kiss proof. So see, there's nothing there. Those are swatches from these right here. I think that's about it for now. Um, so what I'm going to do is go grocery shopping. <laughs> I'll check back with y'all in a little while and let you know how this is holding up. Hey y'all, so I am back here with a checkup. Sorry, it's my first one for the day. We've been very, very busy. Um, our just short trip to the grocery store turned into much more, um, but it is 3.53 right now. Um, and I just wanted to take a look here um, at the foundation. Um, it has kind of warmed up to my skin a little bit. Um, it's still looking pretty dry and crepey. Um, mostly right here, like around my chin, my upper lip looks very, just, it looks, honestly, it looks kind of crusty. <laughs> um, although I'm not too shiny, I am a little bit shiny right here in the center of my forehead, um, but it's really nothing too major. Um, uh, blush, bronzer, highlight, those still look pretty good. So it is keeping up with that. Um, it is definitely settling into like some of my, my fine lines, my WTF lines in the middle of my brows here. It's definitely settling into those. Um, and I do have a scar, like a small scar right here on my forehead where my foundation usually tends to settle into. Um, and it's definitely doing that. Um, I just touched it right there and it took off the foundation. So definitely don't touch your face. But I mean, overall, I'm not too shiny. Um, I think maybe just go in with like a more moisturizing product beforehand or mix in an oil. Um, but like I said, it's been about, I think six and a half hours at this point. Um, so I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's not bad, but I've definitely have had better. As for the lipstick, it has lasted pretty well. Um, it did fade off some, but it did leave behind a very nice, like, kind of stain effect. Um, I am going to go ahead and reapply and see if it layers upon itself.
but I have eaten throughout the day, you know, I've, I've snacked a little bit, and I've been drinking with a straw, and like overall it has held up pretty well. It never transferred to my teeth or anything like that, um, and it's, it's doing well, um, as far as, you know, it hasn't balled up or anything like as I was just reapplying it. So, I think overall the lipstick's nice so far. Um, but I am going to, I am going to leave y'all here. Um, and then I will check in at the very end of the night before I take off my makeup and give you my final thoughts on this. You will see at the end of the night. Hey y'all, it is the end of the night for me. It is... 821 so I've had the foundation on for about 11 hours now I'm tired and I want to take off my makeup and crawl in bed and watch YouTube videos until I fall asleep um, so actually we are going to go ahead and take these lashes off this feels so much better oh yeah so about the foundation um I think I might use it to mix in with other foundations, like maybe a more luminous foundation. I'm going to have to work with it because it's just, I look dry as hell. Completely rubbed off on the sides of my nose um, where I've, you know, sneezed and blown my nose and things like that. Um, I mean, it held up, you know, pretty decent. I definitely didn't get oily enough to where I would need to blot or powder or anything. Um, my highlight is still there. The bronzer is still there. The blush is still there. My eyebrows, they held up. And I say that because sometimes with some of my foundations, my eyebrows will kind of like disappear. Like my tails will kind of disappear throughout the end of the day. Just because that's my skin. Um... But they're there, and I don't know. They look nice. Um, but, I mean, like I said, I just... I look dry. I... Ugh, I mean, there's just... It's completely, like, gone. Right here. Right here. Um, it just looks, like, really gathered. Like, on my chin. It's just, like, bunched up, and pushed into, you know, creases, and, I don't know, I mean, like, if I touch my forehead like that, it'll come off, so, the point is, is that, yes, I would try and make it work, would I go back out and purchase this again, probably not, um, it did last all day, for the most part, um, as of one of its claims. Is it a natural finish? Definitely not. It was matte and dry to the bone on me. On Ulta's website, it says that it has an SPF of 20. It doesn't say that anywhere on here, so I'm not really sure. Also, I did want to point out that on Ulta's website, it retails for $17.99. I think that's absolutely absurd. I would never pay that price. I bought mine from Walmart, and I... It was under $10. I would never pay $17.99 for this. I mean, since I do have the foundation, I am going to work with it to see if I can make it work and make it look nicer on me because it does have nice staying power and it did, you know, built up to a high medium coverage for me. Oh, as for the lipstick, it's still kind of here. It did transfer onto my chin. It is a very comfortable liquid lipstick and I... I think I would definitely purchase it again, but definitely if I get other shades or, you know, if I happen to get the whole range, I'll definitely do a lip swatch video. Um, I don't think I ever mentioned this. This one is in the shade 305 Ballerina. I think that wraps it up for today. I'm going to go wash my face. I hope that you have a great rest of the night, and I'll see you next time. Bye.